Hello ladies and hello you gentlemen, welcome to the first channel. In previous tutorial we did our do sort and pagination function. And now let's get back in login controller. First of all in this method with annotation, model and attribute we will comment this line. Okay, and now let me copy this function and paste here. And uh, we will change the name of this method. It's going to be, for example, find all. And of course, we will change the value. So, according to our do and sort pagination, the URL should be find all. Okay, and I will paste here. Then we will change the type of our method, it is going to be model and view. And here we will say model and view and we new model and view and which view we will return it will return student day so we will say student tail and here return model view. Okay, we will import model and view and here we need request param map string string map. Okay, we need import request para and uh, here of course we must import map as well. I need two strings. First one is field name. And the second one is ascending or descending and we need one integer rows number. And first of all we will check if for example this select option is all. So we will say if then we need to catch map get this field and this field has key rn. So I will copy this. And we will say if it is equals all. Well, sorry, it might be. In that case, we will use student service. And we will call method get student tail number of rows. Okay. Okay. And our rows number will 
get value in this way. So this method should return integer, create method get student table number of rows, and now we are in student service. Okay, this method could be the same like this one. Huh? But here, instead of return students, it will return students size. And that's it. Okay, in this way we will get how many rows are there in tape student. Okay. Else rows number is integer pairs int of this. And now we can check, for example, if it works. Okay. Save all changes. Okay. And now if you choose three, press sort. You see that three is presented. But if you choose all and choose sort, you can see that 15 is present. Okay, that's good. So this is row number and now let's catch let's catch field name. Okay, and we will say if this way, uh, field name equals we need this but this time we need key field name. Okay, and we can ask if field name equals ignore case if it has value of this. In that case, in that case, field name has value of open our model class and we can see that this should be uh, the value of field name. So when we make queries by using Spring Data JPA, in that case we must respect model field names. So copy this and paste here. Else we can copy this, paste here if it is, let me check, First name, in that case, this is the value, and paste here. 
Hells. It is e card. Last name. This is the value. Else. Fill name. Has value of your level. Okay. Paste here and the seed. And now we need ascending or descending. So we'll say that this is map get and we need we need this key. Okay. And paste here. Save changes and ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this tutorial. We will finish job in the next one. Thanks for watching.